The Gene Pattern Notebook environment allows researchers to create complete research narratives combining text, images, multimedia, and executable analyses without the need to write code. The result is a single document containing both the scientific exposition and the associated analysis, which can be published, shared, and easily adopted. To demonstrate, we'll create a new notebook which will walk us through an example differential expression workflow for RNA-seq data. For this example, we will be using 20 breast cancer primary tumors, BRCA, and 20 normal samples from the Cancer Genome Atlas Data Portal, or TCGA, which were previously passed through a data prep workflow for RNA-seq data. The first thing we need to do to create our notebook is log in or register from the Notebook Repository's login page, found at notebook.genepattern.org. Once logged in, pull down the New menu and select Notebooks, then Python. This will create a new Gene Pattern Notebook, which will open in a new browser tab. Here, you see the standard Jupyter Notebook interface, including the Jupyter menu, providing access to the notebook capabilities. To build a notebook, you add cells. Some cells run code, some contain information. To begin, we'll give our notebook a name. Then we'll change the first cell's type to Markdown. If you are familiar with Markdown, you can use the default Jupyter Markdown Editor to add in titles, descriptions, or tables. If you are not, or would like to access our additional features, switch to the Rich Text Editor, which functions similarly to common word processors. Using this editor, we can also add in another title and format that as Heading 1, then a description, which we will leave as normal text. Additionally, the Rich Text Editor can import local images, like this analysis workflow, and easily format table data. In order to add the gene pattern modules used in our workflow, we need to log into the gene pattern server where we will later run our analyses. To log in, we need to add a cell and change its type to gene pattern. As you can see, as soon as we change the cell type, we are prompted to log into the gene pattern production server as the user with which we logged into the repository. Note that we could have clicked Cancel and selected any other gene pattern server to which we have access, or to use the Jupyter Notebook features alone without logging into a gene pattern server. Now we'll demonstrate the additional capabilities that the Gene Pattern Notebook environment provides. With the Gene Pattern Authentication cell selected, we can click on the Gene Pattern button on the left of our screen to open the Tool Manager. Now we will add a Gene Pattern Analysis module to our notebook by choosing one of the available analyses on the server to which we have connected. You can browse all the available modules by scrolling through the alphabetized list, or you can search for modules by category, keyword, or name. We then fill in the necessary parameters and datasets and click Run. This will collapse the cell where the parameters were entered and create a new cell where the status of the job and then the job results will be displayed. To expand a collapsed cell, simply click on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Once the module has finished running, the results can be sent to other gene pattern cells, or they can be accessed by programming users via Python, just as you would use any other Jupyter Notebook results. To demonstrate the use of gene pattern results in Python, we'll convert the TXT results from our DESeq2 analysis into an ODF formatted matrix of data. This will allow us to view our analysis results in an interactive viewer which requires data to be in an ODF format. We could just run this as raw code in our notebook, as you would in any Jupyter Notebook, or we can wrap our function as a user-friendly web form using the Gene Pattern UI Builder. To demonstrate its use, we'll start with the function we just looked at, converting a TXT file into an ODF file. By simply adding the one-line UI Builder decorator and executing the existing Python cell, you can create a simplified user-friendly web form from your Python function. Giving us both a way to share the Python function with non-programming colleagues, as well as methods to more seamlessly use our gene pattern output as input to our function and vice versa. 
We can see this most clearly when we specify our input for the converter by clicking the Input text box. This displays a list of all files in this notebook which are the correct type for this parameter. In this case, we want the results underscore report.txt. Clicking on that file provides it as input to this Python method, without the need to write any additional lines of code. More information about the UI Builder and all of its refinements and capabilities can be found on the Gene Pattern Notebook website, genepattern-notebook.org, in the Programmatic Features Guide. The last step in our example differential expression workflow is the visualization of our DESeq2 results, which we just converted from TXT to ODF for use in the Gene Pattern module, Comparative Marker Selection Viewer. To add this module to our notebook, as before, we create a new cell and change its type to Gene Pattern. We then search for Comparative Marker Selection Viewer and add that to the notebook. Next, we drag in the ODF file, which was created from our UI Builder Python function, and the GCT file that was produced in that same function. Then we run the module which produces an interactive JavaScript viewer displaying our data in our notebook. Furthermore, in the same notebook, we can use the gene pattern hierarchical clustering and hierarchical clustering viewer modules to validate the expected separation of primary tumors and normals into two distinct clusters. We can see that hierarchical clustering has clustered all of the samples as expected. You've now been introduced to the Gene Pattern Notebook environment, a seamless integration of the Gene Pattern interface and the Jupyter Notebook, and have been shown how easy it is to use for non-programming and programming users alike. For more information, tutorials, and examples, please visit genepattern-notebook.org.